friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with the Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 19th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as a look at earthquakes, volcanoes, and a glance at world weather. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, we had yet another pretty large solar flare, just under an M class. This is 304 angstroms, showing those bright sunspot regions firing away. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we have another cresting sunspot, bright region on the left side. Not much in the way of plasma filaments recently. They've all been taking off from the sun with CMEs, coronal mass ejections created by the solar flares. We had a large filament wave ahead of that center sunspot region. We've seen almost 20 solar flares in the past three days. And at least six of them now have been M-class. So very active sun, solar cycle 25 as predicted with NASA. Higher already than predicted values for sunspots. Looking at 171 angstroms here, showing the darkened regions, which are the coronal holes, and they can increase the solar wind speeds hitting Earth if they are in an Earth-facing position. Another closer look here at this spastic sunspot in the th southern region, reacting with the equatorial sunspot, and as well, some pretty big activity heading out. Looking at the solar X-ray flux, as you can see, we just had a pretty sizable C-class flare, but we're looking at one, two, three, four, five M-class solar flares, geomagnetic activity. We hopped up to KP6 on the 18th and on the 19th, KP5. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna be going back up to KP6 here as the solar winds are hitting us at over 600 kilometers per second right now. Amazing stuff. Quick look at LASCO 3. Last images of the energies taking off from the sun. Here, a look at the NOAA space prediction spiral showing all of the last few days events heading towards our planet, which is the green one, little green dot there ahead of the energy. We're really lucky that all of this energy missed just underneath of Earth. ISWA space prediction spiral showing the most recent large flare taking off from the sun has not been updated just yet. But a little glancing blow with that. Looking at our geospace magnetosphere. This is a look at our solar winds hitting our planet. Getting into that darker reds, that is way over 600 kilometers per second. Our average solar wind speed is around 200 to 300 kilometers per second. So we're sitting double the wind speed. And this is was predicted, so as expected here from the space weather events the last few days. Looking at the pressure planes, immense pressure on our planet right now, and it's already reverberating through earthquakes. Cosmic charge particles penetrating our atmosphere. So real-time solar wind, having a quick look here, we're sitting at 671 kilometers per second. It jumped up yesterday in the afternoon ahead of that space weather event from the CME. We were over 550 kilometers per second. And now today, hopping right up over 670 kilometers per second. Amazing stuff. Look at the temperature and as well the orange, which is the density bunches still way up. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 72. Healthy spike today. Most of that energy from the 72 was that large spike on the right hand side there. Amplitude of 62, quality of 17, and a power of 44. Quick look at the Aurora forecast as most likely over Canada tonight. There is a large chance for some northern lights 
as the auroras will be lighting up as far down as northern Ontario. And again, over in Finland and parts of Europe into tomorrow night. Now let's have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours as we're sitting at about 220 earthquakes across the USGS map. But quite a bit of activity here through the mid-Atlantic. <clears throat> Four sizable earthquakes, 5.4s popping off mid-Atlantic Ridge as well as 5.2 and a 5.1. Pretty rare earthquake here to report, 4.7 in uh, South Africa. Scotia Plate into the South Sandwich Islands, seeing a 5.2, two of them. South America picking up in activity. San Antonio de la Cobros, Argentina, 4.4. And as well southward there with a 4.8. And Velinar, Chile, 4.6 here in Ecuador, 4.4. Nicaragua, minor activity through Puerto Rico, but eastward here, 3.8, notable. Cruz Bay, Virgin Islands. Rare earthquake here to report. Gonzales, Texas, 3.1 along the coastline. That's where that big low pressure system hit recently. Overlooking Hawaii, 3.0 there today reported. No major swarms to talk about through North America nor Hawaii right now, but it is all this sizable activity. Fours and fives popping off right from northern Russia or eastern Russia, Kamchatka, down into the Kuril Islands and Nami, Japan. 4.8 here, Bonin Islands region, very deep, 486 kilometer depth. That is the deepest past 24 hours. And as well notable here, Celebuasi, Indonesia, 5.4. Quiet. Still quiet through Fiji and Caledonia and the Kermadex, 5.0 there reported. Loyalty Islands, 4.9 here. Nepal, and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. A quick browse at the last seven days. And I want, again, I want to thank everybody for watching today, inviting me into your living room, hitting that subscribe button. And as well, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss an update. Much love and welcome all of the new family members from around the world. Always be ready. Our world is ever changing and always will be. It's better to be aware and prepared and coupled with no fear. Pacific Disaster Center here showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Reventador in Ecuador. We've got about 200 active alerts right now. Sabancaya in Peru, Shevelich in Russia. Sangay in Ecuador, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia. Look at all these fire alerts. Show you where the, all of these hot spots are in just a moment. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. As well, Ebiko in Russia, Semeru, Indonesia. So yeah, many fire alerts and coupled with all of these alerts onto the Pacific Disaster Center. Let's have a look at the most recent satellite imagery around the world. Fires in Northern California. We've got fires Northwest Territories. We've got Fires Northern Territories, Australia, as well as Queensland, Australia, East Coast. And as well, fires across Africa, Zimbabwe, South Africa, as well, Angola, and Zambia. This is a very hot region right now, and these fires have popped up over the past two days even in parts of Oregon and Washington. Quick look here, satellite imagery showing those large systems spinning around the Southern Hemisphere right now. Watch for the Northern Hemisphere to have some similar large systems for our winter months. It's going to be a long one. 
some pretty sizable low pressure systems in the Atlantic right now when bringing waves of moisture across Europe. Let's have a look here at NASA Worldview showing a dust storm coming off of North Africa and as well all of the smoke and those red uh, hotspot regions. Equatorial regions, we can always expect these hot spots and fires to pop up. This is just a daily report. It's amazing that we can look at it this way, satellite images. But nothing major there. Quick look over North America. Smoked out across the Pacific Northwest right now. Fires in BC, fires in Washington, fires in Montana, fires in Saskatchewan and Manitoba. So the air quality is not very good across North America right now with these fires and as well all the sulfur emissions from the 48 erupting volcanoes across the world. Look at all the smoke northward there into Northwest Territories. Wow. I'm gonna leave you here with a quick world look at our winds forecasted here for the next seven days. Low pressure systems. Two of them, two large ones developing in the long range forecast in the Atlantic, but it doesn't look like there are any hurricanes still in the forecast here late in the summer months. Quick look at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Much love everybody. Stay aware and prepared. And keep tuning in to Daily Events Worldwide and to whoever shared over this last little bit, a big thank you. Because it really makes a difference. All it takes is one share and sometimes it'll reach thousands of people. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.